Now, our first guests have a job most of us would envy as stars of Channel 5's Aussie soap Home and Away. They've achieved global recognition as two of Australia's hottest young talents. She has been on the show since the tender age of eight and recently won a coveted Logie Award while he's set girls' hearts racing everywhere after his appearance on this year's Soap Star Superstar. But back down under, they're both trying to lend a helping hand. Nice to meet you, Ruby. You must be tired after your trip. Did you get the bus up? Yeah, she did. She only just got here. How do you guys know each other? My old school. We were best buds, but I haven't seen her in yonks. Hello, Ruby. Ages. Well, I hope Cassie's showing you where you're going to be sleeping. Yeah, yeah, done all that. All right, good. I'm going to make a start on dinner. Do you eat fish, Ruby? Oh, yeah, sorry. Fish is fine. Hey. Oh, Lily, wait, wait, Go wait. Away. I'm not going to tell people about yeah, you. Yeah, that's what Cassie said. Cassie cares about you more than anyone. She's freaking out. Well, don't throw away the best friend you're going to find because of me. If Cassie cares about you, so do I. I'm scared. What if Sally sends me back there or if Carl finds me here? Look, come with me now. Okay? None of that's going to happen. I'm not going to tell anyone where you are or who you are. Hi, let's give the warmest of good eyes to Kate Ritchie oh. and Mark Furs. about that appalling accent it was absolutely Robin. dreadful and it was rubbish wasn't it absolutely <laughs> terrible but listen guys home and away now you've been in it kate since you were eight years old yeah we, we filmed the pilot um back in 1987 and in australia we premiered at the beginning of 88 and i've been there ever since so i'm you know about to turn 29 so oh. i've had a, a, not oh a bad God. innings as you've far as I mean, work you, well, goes you've grown you've grown up on it well I, sometimes it feels like my whole life is like a you know a family barbecue where everybody's <laughs> coming up saying oh i remember when yeah. you were this oh, big I do, yeah. Kind of, like the, kind of like the Truman Show sort of thing. You've always <laughs> yeah. been on camera since a tiny yeah. kid. Yeah, but your character's always... You started off being really nice. Are you still as nice as you were when I was oh, yeah. 17 watching it? Oh, is that not boring? <laughs> no, it's not actually because it's... You know, I don't know. It's nice to be dependable and, and looking after everybody else. Although, I, you know, I guess sometimes it would be nice to lash out a little bit. But I leave that to, up to everybody else. Okay. Are you naughty? You nasty, though. I'm a little bit violent, yes. Oh, yeah. Not in real life, on the... Yeah, he, he, he the character started off a bit, um, a bit a mean. Bit bully. Yeah, but now he's he still gets in fights, but um, yeah. he's That's nice it. about it. But you don't imagine that happening in Summer Bay, do you? Because it's also <laughs> idyllic and lovely, you know. And you got done for murder that you didn't. didn't I you didn't. I was, I was in prison for the um, the standard sentence in Summer Bay of two weeks. Yeah, two That's weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but if we're but you didn't commit, nice. actually. Now, Mark, as well, because obviously there's a lot, <laughs> there's a load of people in this country, of course, and all over the world know you from home and away. But there's also you got a lot of new fans this year when you did uh, male and female. I hasten to add, when you did um, <laughs> Soap Star Superstar. Yes. That now, was... how did you find that experience? Because I watched it and I kind of felt the nerves because I had a couple of mates on there. That was the most horrifying thing I've ever done in my life. Was it? <laughs> it was. I mean, it was great fun at the time. I mean, but I think it was ten days every night, and I lost. 13 pounds <gasps> in the oh, 10 days, wow. just from stress. I could eat one meal a day. And it is stressful. I mean, I can't think of anything worse than standing and singing in front of a horrible panel. I mean, mm. I know. You know. All I had to do was, <laughs> all I had to do was just sit there and just... We had to learn the songs and, do all, and you know, get everything right and practice trying to remember the words. And they just got to sit there and just pick it apart. But, Kate, okay, you do it as well, don't you? You do another one in Australia. Oh, in Australia, I was... Yeah. Um, well, both Mark and I were involved in the first series of It Takes Two, which is that, oh, you yeah. know, the is celebrity... Is that like I was, um, just, just the two, two of us? Yeah, yeah. we yeah. paired up with a yeah. professional. Um, and, yeah, like exactly what Mark just said, it was the worst thing I've ever done, but also, in a lot of ways, changed me because it, it was kind of the, the best thing to go out there and do something that you would never think you would usually agree to do. And it kind of, I guess, just proved that, you know, you can take a few risks. And, and like you said, I've been... I've been playing Sally for 20 years, so it's important for me to think, well, prove to and myself obviously, that I could do something else. And obviously, a few else. of your sort of, um, a, a few of your peers have sort of gone off and launched musical careers. You know, is that something that either of you would like to do? Because I know you're in a heavy metal band, aren't you? Yeah, you're a rocker. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Look, Look at it. <laughs> cool. And you like older women in here? Cool. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Take your pick. <laughs> oh, no. 
quite a few of us here. Mm. No, no, I haven't seen him. No, you do want to be, you, you'd like to be a bit of a rock. Yeah, if you weren't in Home and Away, you, you said when it's all over, you'd like to go straight onto the stage. Mm, it's a bit of a different path to most uh, soap actors yeah. who've become musical, you know. I highly doubt I'll be doing anything poppy and there'll be definitely no dance moves whatsoever so it's uh look i'm sure i'll be judged if i do bring something out but hopefully the music will speak for itself and we were we were just talking recently i don't know if you heard about about driving and how to combat this sort of tea because there's so many deaths caused by teenagers what's the situation in australia when do you pass your test what's the drinking laws over there it, it is quite different to different, here is it? i think when you're 16 and 16 and 9 months you get your learner plates and you have to have a licensed driver with you at all times you can't go faster than 80 it was like, yeah, something 80, like that. 80, 80 kilometres, yeah. Yep. And then you get your, your red piece after a year, which, which is, is like provisional a provisional licence. And then you have to have that for one year, and then you get your green piece for two years. It's very complex, but I think... Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. So you're not, you're not kind of fully qualified for how many years then, really? About well, four, 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 four years. years. Mm. Which is kind of good, because, you know, I mean, just because you have your licence doesn't necessarily mean you know everything no. that's going to be thrown at you when, you when you're on the road. And, and you don't abide by the same set of rules. You, like, you can't go as fast as a fully licensed driver. That's good. And you're not allowed yeah. to have any alcohol in your system and all that at kind all. of thing, isn't that right? Mm. Is it yeah. zero tolerance having over? There. Only for P plates and I mean if you right. if you got your full license sheet it's point oh five or something. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. They well, do target the, the, the provisional drivers that the, the police uh, have random, random breath <laughs> testing units. I remember I was a I was a pizza delivery guy oh. when I was still in school and um, and it was a it was a company car and I did take advantage of it. Proudly. <laughs> 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 but one, one night I got pulled over three times by the same cop. Really? Because <laughs> yeah. I, I look at the well, number there's not plate, many mate. People I'm clearly in Australia, not drunk. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, good luck with Home and Away and everything else that you do. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Furs and Kate Ritchie. Thank you. <laughs>